Hey guys, this next video comes to you from my content on a hilarious troll channel. It showcases my interactions with Donna after I realized that she had deeply lied in her narrative from my arrest. Unfortunately, hurt feelings on both ends have led Donna to want to back me into an elevator with a broken foot on this day. Assistant LaSalle County State's Attorney Kelly Porter said Tuesday at the start of Farmer's jury trial that video footage showed Farmer, quote, drove her shoulder into Deputy Doug Pastrick. Deputy Jim Knobloch was injured on March 8, 2021, as Farmer tried to force her way inside. She, Farmer, is a self-proclaimed crusader of justice. Porter told a jury, adding later, but if you work for the government, her form of justice comes in the form of harassment, bullying, and badgering. That actually sounds quite familiar. Farmer and her lawyer argued the criminal charges are retaliatory and filed to, quote, intimidate her into silence. Defense attorney Wayne Slaughter said Farmer riled up authorities by conducting videotaped public access checks, in keeping with her First Amendment rights. Quote, and, as you imagine, she's not very popular. Nah, come on, Wayne. She's very popular around these parts. Continuing, but you have a right to know, and she has a right to bring that information to you, Slaughter said. They don't want people like you and me knowing what's going on behind closed doors. The jury's decision might come down to the numerous video recordings. Tuesday morning, jurors saw surveillance footage from the LaSalle County Sheriff's Office that showed confrontations between Farmer, her brother Jacob Farmer, and court security. And finally, state and defense intend to show recordings from cellular telephones. These, the defense alleges, will show intransigent public officials refusing to provide reasonable public access. The prosecution argues the farmers flagrantly disregarded courthouse rules and bears responsibility for the ensuing struggles and contact. Per a local radio station called Starved Rock Media, Tuesday's trial featured testimony from deputies involved in the struggle in question as they testified for the state. The defense presented just one witness, the defendant. That an altercation occurred is beyond question. Farmer recorded the angry and profanity-laced incident on both her phones and her brother's. She, however, testified that she never battered an officer during the incident. The prosecution, on the other hand, would call a total of four witnesses, including the now-famous Donna. I saw Donna and Jim when I walked in there, oddly enough. Dude, Donna is terrible. You know, her Donna was being a CU next Tuesday as usual, and obviously the deputy chief is Donna's husband. and. Um, Donna, Donna sits there and because I had brought up again about how, especially when Donna, against the way Donna was treating me while I was trying to file the initial complaint. And I told Donna that today. Hi, Donna. Donna was neglecting me when I was phoneless a little bit ago, trying to bully me. Donna, uh, can I ask again why Donna shouldn't take jobs she can't handle? Right, Donna? Donna would say, anyway, Donna's been quiet the whole time. Huh, Donna. Donna used to wear a uh, American flag mask. It's like freaking Donna. Hey, Donna, get away from me. Donna, I'm trying to write this out. Get away from me. Stop cornering me. Did you need to try to intimidate me, Donna, while I do it? The lady just handed me a pad to fill this out, Donna. I didn't even speak to you until you came in here with Donna. Donna comes in here. Goodbye, Donna. Get away from me. Don't tell me what to do. Get away from me. Get away from me, Donna. You're making me intimidated. Why is it taking over a week since you noticed it, Donna? Bye, Donna. Oh, so under threat of arrest, I have to leave the whole building, right? Right, Donna? Where do I need to leave, Donna? Bye, Donna. Cry, baby. Donna, cooler than the other side of the pillow. So accountability angel was facing four charges. One count of battery that caused bodily harm, two counts of battery that made physical contact, and one count of resisting, in comparison to her brother, who just had one count of battery that made physical contact, and one count of resisting. All four of these charges are Class A misdemeanors, but can basically be summed up as Angel Good, Tyrant's Bad. On day two of the trial, a witness that was there said the prosecutor ended her closing argument with the following quote, She calls herself the accountability angel, hold her accountable. As for the results of the trial, the jury deliberated for a few hours this morning and finally returned a verdict. The information has yet to be updated on the court website, but according to the same witness, Starved Rock Media, at approximately 1 p.m. today, Angel Farmer verdict, guilty on three counts, two for battery and one for obstruction of justice. When the court documents are released, I will be posting them on my community page, so be on the lookout for that. And now I find myself really curious as to what led the jury to find her guilty on three or four charges. My hope, it was the D to the O double N A.